take a look at this knotted bracelet. This is really super simple to make and it's a camp craft that it has a grown ups twist, just like some of the other projects on our show this season. What I love about this is it has a whole lot of color. Now how you're going to start out is with an eight foot length of cord. I'm using paracord and you want to put your buckle onto the jig to start. So this type of jig, you can use it to measure your bracelet before you begin and you can make sure that you're making a bracelet that's the perfect length every time. So to get started, what you do is tuck your folded cord down through the top of the clasp and then bring the ends through at the fold. And this is a way of working with one very long cord so that your whole bracelet is made from one cord. Now what you'll do is take the cords and poke them through the top of your clasp here. And then you're going to bring your ends back around so this creates the center structure of the bracelet, and now you're ready to get started knotting. So this knot that I did is just a basic square knot, and you'll take one cord over both of the center strands, then bring the outside under and through the opposite loop. So then we'll tighten that up and go the other direction. Now we're going to lay this one across, bring this one over, under, and up through. And that completes the square. So now you go back to the other side and go over, under, up, and through, and then back to the other side. So you're making a series of half knots, and when you make two, then you have your square. And this is a basic macrame technique, but it whips up really quickly. So you can really make this bracelet in minutes once your fingers start flying with the pattern of square knotting. And what you'll do is continue to knot for the whole length of the bracelet so that you're making that basic structure. Now it's perfect just as it is, or you could add beads and you can also stitch things onto it or you could add beads as you go along. If you have some large hole ones, you could add them onto your outside strands or you could line them up in the middle here even to add more to your piece. Now what you can do for stitching is take your finished piece and find the center. And the way that I find the center is just by counting the outside bumps here, or you can just fold it in half and eyeball to find the center here. And take something like this sparkly slider. This is a piece that has holes through it here, so I'm just using those to stitch directly onto the bracelet. So what I'll do is take my beading thread, which I've doubled and knotted at the end, and I'm just going to stitch through the cording here and then back around to anchor this down. And you can use the cording itself to hide your stitches. So it really doesn't have to be perfect here because you can hide it within the structure of your bracelet. So pull that tight. And then we'll pull this all the way down and start working back and forth across so that we can anchor this slider down. And again here we'll put come through and then out the side and then through our slider and stitch it on to the top. So this is an idea that you can use to kind of bring that, you know, these are fun to make with your kids, but you can also give them more grown up touch by adding some flair here in the middle. Now the way that you're going to finish your piece is by bringing your ends around. So I already started this one. Here's our knotted end. And this piece comes out and around down and through. And you can use a wooden tool here to loosen up your knots, bring it around and down and through, just like this. And then you're going to also use that same tool to push this all the way through. Whoops. Get this tucked in here. And then you have your ends tucked in. Now you can add some glue here, or you can also use a lighter or something to just melt the ends of your cording. Now it is important that you wanna use some sharp scissors or some sharp shears when you're working with this type of cording. So I like to use um, some high, kind of sciz uh, high durability scissor because that really gives you a sh nice sharp cut. And this is the portion here that you can then melt or you can, and then go ahead and tuck this back into your bracelet. So your finished piece has kind of a mix of high and low and it's a little bit sporty, but it's got some funky flair too.